guys, it's your girl Kim J, and right now you're locked on to Extra Time TV. Take a look. Hey everyone, this is Andres Soklal of Extra Time TV and I'm here joined by Kavish. So basically he plays for Paul Gen, obviously. I mean, if you didn't know that, it kind of gives it away. Unless you're wearing a Paul Gen jersey. So he just took the power at the Shot Power Challenge and came in at 103 kilometers per hour. Challenge Darren Ganga, barefooted, which is something we didn't expect. So Darren, you heard that. So, uh, you know, first things first, we had the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. Tell me, what are your thoughts on the facility? I think it's a wonderful facility, you know, um, having this facility, you know, come to South, um, you know, you have a lot of cricket fans in South, you know, yeah. and, you know, it's, it's good to see the field, it's good to see the pitch playing and good to see this tournament here. Okay, so, you know, the tournament has progressed a couple of days now, um, you know, usually there's a lot of things people look at, the pitch conditions and things like that. Um, this stadium, this facility has been long awaited, so in terms of the actual, you know, running of the facilities, is it something you think could be very exciting for cricket in Trinidad and regionally? Yes, definitely. You know, we have an extra um, uh, uh, world-class venue here now. So, yes. I mean, it gives the West Indies Cricket Board, you know, the opportunity now to have more cricket in Trinidad and Tobago, which is good for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, you know, and school cricket, especially school cricket, where it's important that uh, youths at that level, you know, hone their game, hone their skills and improve. Mm -hmm. So having this academy here is a plus for Trinidad and Tobago and a plus for the youngsters. They should be very excited, mm -hmm. you know, especially school guys. And, and look to make something of ourselves both academically and, and in cricket. Very classy response. I love that because a lot of people don't understand the, the balance between academics and sport. And it's good to see our athletes speaking in that, you know, in that sort of terminology, I guess. Um, but what people don't know is that yeah, apparently a fan of football before, uh, he was very confident. I think you mentioned Totti in your, your, before the challenge. So is there a particular team or player that you, you really like? Yeah, well, you know, naturally, I support the Italian teams, you know, and nice to see Juventus up there. Good choice. But um, my team, and, you know, I got a lot of jamming over the years mm. for this because, I mean, it's AS Roma, you yeah. know, we always chasing Juventus. Mm. Um, and, you know, sometimes we get the better of them. But, you know, since I was young, um, I grew up playing cricket and football both equally. You know, um, me and my one of my best friends, Dion Bennett, who passed away a couple of years ago, we grew up playing cricket and football mm -hmm. every day. Yeah. You know, so one never lagged. But, you know, um, as you say, in goals, sometimes they have to give up one to be better than the other. So. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm here playing cricket and it's glad to see, I'm glad to see, you know, this kind of technology in football. Hopefully we get goal line and offside technology in yes. Trinidad and Tobago, Good you know, Fantino. that might have helped back yeah. in, back in the last game. But, um, you know, it's, it's good to see that Trinidad and Tobago is, is prospering in sport. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of facilities coming out, you know, we have the velodrome, we have the aquatic centre, we have the tennis centre, the racket centre up in Takarigua now. Um, we also have the hockey centre and the new um, facility in, in Sandy Grandi, you know, so mm -hmm. it's good to see sport highlighted in Trinidad and Tobago. It's good to see that uh, the Ministry of Sport and Sport Company doing what they can mm -hmm. now. And um, it's it always well for the future for especially young people right now. Okay, so it's a great time to be in, in love with sport in general in Trinidad. Everybody we spoke to so far, they spoke about their particular sport, but they also are not afraid to mention all the other sports. And that is very exciting and, and you know promising for people who are fans of the game who maybe became cynical over the years with all the negative stuff it's all about positive stuff now you know the cricketers are speaking their minds about different sports the footballers are saying the same thing yeah. so it's a great event uh, EXTV was primarily football but you know making the jump to cricket was a natural thing so T20 is the thing now you know T20 is also exciting you know, some people say the can long vision you know the long vision is still beautiful yeah um you know I think we should try our best to bring back test cricket mm -hmm. to where it was before um, obviously, new technologies, new styles. So we need to keep up abreast with the, with the new kind of um, strategies that are used now in Test cricket, mm -hmm. and uh, we need to we need to reach that point to, to get back to the top. Okay, because I spoke to many cricket enthusiasts, I uh, know, you know, connoisseurs of the game, and they all agree that the traditional tr Test cricket is a lot of them say that they miss that. You know, there's a lot of it's completely different. The two twenties are completely different format. So what you're saying is that you'd love to see incorporation because you you read my mind. I was going to ask yeah. that question. I mean, I mean, yeah. Test cricket, Test cricket is is cricket. You know, it, yeah. it started off as Test cricket, and I mean, you hear a lot of established cricketers say, if you could bowl in Test cricket, if you could bat in Test cricket, you can you can do well. You know, um, I mean, at the end of the day, it's five long days. It's, it's testing. Um, but T20 is also modern now, yeah. and it's pretty fun. So it's a good sign to see that Trinidad and Tobago, you know, we, we get in there, we need, to, we need to keep working and get back on top, and especially at regional game. Okay, well, all right, well, so we don't want to keep you back. We appreciate your time. We love your enthusiasm with the Smart Ball Challenge. Yeah. And he laid his challenge down, so Darren Ganga, you heard it. No shoes. Tell him barefoot or no barefoot, I don't mind. Okay, okay, so he's challenging you again. So with that being said, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Yeah. And we definitely look forward to seeing how this facility progresses, how you progress with your team. And be sure, folks, to check us out on Facebook, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And this is Andrew Soklal at the Brian Lara Academy, signing out. Hi, Mom.
<laughs> okay guys, so that wraps things up of this episode of Extra Time TV. Be sure to tune in next time and like and subscribe. Check us out below.